Hey everybody, RPG here. Today I'm going to show you guys how to add and remove bezels on all your games on RetroPie using the Bezel Project. I'm also going to show you real quick how to download the Bezel Project if you don't already have that integrated into your RetroPie setup. So let's get started. All right, so getting started here, I first want to show you guys exactly how to download the Bezel Project to RetroPie. So I've already done it here on my particular RetroPie card here, but I'm going to show you exactly how to jump in there. So you're going to go into your configuration settings, and then you're going to go down to RetroPie Setup. And again, this is if you don't have the Bezel Project already installed, you're going to be installing it from scratch. So next thing we'll do is we'll go to Manage Packages, and then we're going to jump into Manage Experimental Packages. So this is going to give you a massive list. I think it's actually the longest list out of all of the packages available. So if you have a keyboard, go ahead and hook that up because you can use the arrow key down to run through all these options really quickly like this. If you're going to be using just your controller, you can only do it one at a time. So you have to tap down on your controller um, a couple hundred times here because this again is a massive list. So if you just hold down your arrow key down, on your keyboard until you get to the very end, you'll notice that if you just come up on that last section, you'll notice it's the second option, bezel project. So here you can see that mine's already installed. Again, I installed this prior to doing this video. I didn't want to totally take it out and lose my bezels all over um, my different collections. But once you jump onto this and you have it highlighted, you're going to select it. It's going to check for updates and then it's going to give you the option to install it. The install is really quick, only takes a couple minutes if that. So just go ahead, um, hit the install button. If it gives you a couple confirmation prompts, just go ahead and select yes. And it's going to bump you out to this exact page right here. So from here, you're going to want to back out. And you're going to back out a couple times here. So back out, back out. And then you'll notice the bottom option down here is perform reboot. You wanna select this, this is gonna reboot your system completely. This is always a good practice to do. Anytime that you do any major changes or fresh installs, you always wanna reboot your system just to make sure that the, all those changes have taken effect. So go ahead, reboot your system if this is a fresh install. This isn't a fresh install for me, so I'm just gonna exit here. And we're gonna do this like if you just did your reboot and you rebooted your system and came up to your landing page here. So from this point, we're going to jump right back into our configuration settings. And you should be able to find now the bezel project on your list. And here it is for me, bezel project right there. I'm going to select that. It's going to load for a couple seconds. Bring us right into the bezel project. You're going to get this little prompt here. Just go ahead and hit yes. And here you can see there's a bunch of different components to this, different sections. First one's to update install script. Second one is to view bezel styles available. Third one is to download theme style bezel pack. And the fourth option is download system style bezel pack. Next option down is enable system bezel pack, disable system bezel pack, and then some information. And then if you wanna uninstall it, you can go in here or you can go into the RetroPie setup like we just did to install it. And there's an option there to remove it. So starting this from scratch there's a couple things i want to point out to you there's two different versions of bezels that you can go with so i'm going to go with the option two now if this is your first time you actually have to download this you'll just tap the option here and it'll automatically download once it does it's going to populate like this so we have two options we have theme styled bezel and system styled bezel so theme is going to look like this we can select it and see it's using Atari 2600 as the example here. And you'll notice that that is going to be tied directly to specific games. So if we back out now, the next one down is system styled bezel. So this one's gonna give you pictures of the actual system. So in this case, Atari 2600 there, it, it times out, that's why it's jumping out. Uh, it shows you the joystick, shows you a little bit of the console there. So you can see that wood grain on that Atari 2600. So these are your two options here. The top one's gonna to be tailored to the specific game that you're getting into. So let's say you're going into PlayStation and you're playing a 007 game, then it's going to have some 007 themed content on the uh, bezels. And then if you were to jump into a different title there, let's say you went into 3D Baseball in PlayStation, then when you jump into that title, you're going to have some different content around those bezels that ties into that specific game. So definitely gives you some different options to take advantage of here. So we're going to exit because this is just giving us a preview of those bezel styles. So now we can go with either download theme style or download system style. So this is where you would download. 
whichever version you want. So what I'm going to do today is typically I have just the um, system style. So I'm going to go with the theme one today just to spice it up a little bit, do something a little different. So I'm going to select option three, download theme style bezel pack. And you can see here, nothing has been installed. Each of these says not installed. Actually, the Atari 2600 does say installed because um, I think I did go in here and kind of check around, poke around a little bit. So um, you have to do these one by one. So I'm going to actually go with, I think PlayStation is the one directly located next to my first um, collection there. So I'm gonna just do the PlayStation 1 for this demo video. So you can see down on the bottom now, it's gonna give you your information on the uh, specific download. So it's at right now 32%. So this will take typically about five minutes or so, maybe a little bit less, maybe a little longer, it just depends on your Wi-Fi connection speed. So we're gonna let it do its thing. Once this fully downloads, we'll continue this video. So you come to this processing page and then you can see now it says for the PlayStation, it has installed next to it now. So I'm gonna go over to uh, cancel and just back out of this now and we can exit. So I'm going to back out. I'm going to jump into PlayStation. We'll jump into that first title, which is 007, The World Is Not Enough. So after this initial loading page, it should pull up our bezels on the outside of our screen. And there it is. So you can see, again, just like I said before, this is going to be tied directly to each title. So in this case, we selected 007. So we have one that's tailored specifically to that individual title, which is really cool. Um, this is not one that I utilize. I always had the generic system one, but let's back out. So I'm gonna hit my hotkey and I'm just gonna jump into another title on here. Um, we have 3D Baseball right below it. So I'm gonna test this one out and this one should be a bezel that's directly tied to 3D Baseball now. So likely we'll have some uh, 3D Baseball logos on there. Um, so it doesn't have, oh no, it does. It's behind that little prompt in the corner. So you can see in the bottom left corner, 3D baseball, and then has some baseball themes. All right, so I'm gonna jump out of there. So that's gonna show you exactly how you wanna go in there and install your bezels. So the other option, of course, was to do the, just the generic uh, system one where every single game in that specific collection is gonna be exactly the same little bit less work there because again every single title in each collection is going to have the exact same bezel also takes up a little less space on your card in terms of storage so now we're going to jump back in here and i'm going to show you guys how to remove those bezels now with the bezel project so i'm going to jump back in hit that first yes prompt and then we have to just remember which version that we used so in this case we use the theme style so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go back into where it says download theme style bezel pack. And you can see here now we have that list. We just have to locate the PlayStation one. So here we can see we located the PlayStation one that has installed next to it. So we're just going to select it. And now we're gonna go down to option two, which is uninstall PlayStation. So we're gonna select that. And now it says not installed. So if we hit cancel now, now exit, we just back right out of the bezel project altogether. And now we're gonna back out of our configuration settings. We'll jump back into PlayStation. I'm gonna jump back into that first option, which was 007. We'll get past this initial loading screen. And now we should find that our bezels are no longer present on here because we just uninstalled it. So you can see the game's loading up. Both corners now no longer have that bezel. So we went and uninstalled it 100% here. The game's gonna boot up without those bezel graphics on either side. So I'm gonna exit this game now. All right, so you can see from this video that adding and removing bezels with the bezel project on RetroPie is pretty straightforward. There's a lot of great bezels available for each of your games and game collections, depending on which route you wanna go. So if you have any questions at all, feel free to reach out to me. I'm always happy to help any way that I can. Be sure to subscribe. Like the video if you found this video helpful to you, and definitely check us out online on our website, www.retropieguy.com. Thanks for watching.